Before using ChatGPT's functions for writing articles, essays, blogs, or scripts, you need to know this, because without it, all of your work will be completely useless, and here's why. This right here is GPT-0. This is a countermeasure tool that is also run on AI that is used to actually detect AI wrote prompts, scripts, or essays. Now, if you thought that ChatGPT amassing over 1 million users in the first five days was impressive, these countermeasure tools like GPT-0 have amassed over 7 million users in the first week. This tool right here was actually created for educators so people in the school system can check if any of their students' writings are just generated by AI and are not organic. But this, however, gives us a sneak peek into the background of what people are using AI countermeasures for, especially when going up against ChatGPT. So real quick, let's go ahead and actually take a look at what this will look like when you try and generate a ChatGPT script and we run it through an AI detector. So if I go ahead and tell ChatGPT to write a short essay on the history of America. All right, we're then going to go ahead and we're going to control C. We're going to copy what this gave us and paste it into GPT-0 and then control enter to apply. Once this tool GPT-0 has actually analyzed our text, it's going to give us a perplexity rank. This basically checks to see if our text was generated by machine learning. It lets us know that the randomness of the text is a measurement of how well a language model like ChatGPT can predict a sample text. We can see that our score that it kicked back was eight. Now it says that eight is comparatively low, and that means texts with lower perplexities are more likely to be generated by a language model, which means on a scale of one to a hundred, it is extremely likely that AI in the background, like a Google web scraper for Google SEO, one of the main points of organic traffic on all of the internet, is going to instantly know that we're simply publishing something that is generated by AI and it will not want to organically push out our content. Now there's two parts to this countermeasure. The first thing we want to do is just rephrase our question or our inquiry to ChatGPT. Instead of telling it to write that essay, we want to make sure that we use their wording. This is the wording the back end AI will recognize. So we want to tell it to, again, write the above essay once more, but with a high perplexity count. That, however, is only step one. We want to completely alter this to be unrecognizable from ChatGPT. Again, it did all the work for us, but we don't want it to sound like a ChatGPT prompt. So we are once again going to go and copy the entire essay and we're going to go use another AI tool. This is a free tool at paraphrasing-tool.com. We're going to simply paste our text in here and click on basic paraphrase. I'll actually, I'll move myself out of the way so you can see right over there is the basic paraphrase button that we're going to be using. All right. So on the right side, you can see that we have a new box with what is labeled paraphrased text. This essentially took our initial writing prompt that we got from ChatGPT and it paraphrased it to change it to sound a bit more organically done. This is exactly what we need to get around those countermeasures that are detecting ChatGPT writing. Whether you're doing basic ad copy or something more complex like writing a YouTube script or doing an essay of sorts, you want to make sure that it sounds as organic as possible. And that's why these tools and this method that I just showed you is extremely useful. It's not an exact science yet as all of this artificial intelligence is brand new. So make sure to like the video and subscribe if you want to be in the know anytime any of this changes. There are a ton of wonderful use cases for ChatGPT, some that can make you a lot of money online and even passive income day to day. If you want to know five genius ways that you can start an online business using ChatGPT, check out the video on your screen now.